Hi to all, myself Dr. Sham Chandran. I am here once again to convey a few points regarding how to approach the upcoming Shalakitandra practical sections for final year BAMS. Okay, uh, let me come to the point. As you guys are well, uh, well experienced attending the practical examinations for the previous years, but the point where you have to give some regard for this year is about the approach towards clinical sections. You know, you will have a long case session, a short case report, as well as identification of instruments, drugs and whatever the examiner fails to keep to check your knowledge. And obviously last and the most important that is the viva versi. Is it so? So uh, let me share a few ideas regarding how to crack each sessions. First of all, uh, on long case, a proper personal medical history should be noted while writing the long cases. Students, please remember a proper history taking is the window of a proper diagnosis. As the patient, everything regarding their physical, their mental, their medical conditions, family history, and have a thorough look on their vitals. Also, history of all the medicines taken, both Ayurvedic, Allopathic, or whatever it may be. And whatever you wish to ask, don't hesitate. Please ask them. Once you finish digging the history, go for the clinical examinations. If it is a case of eye, go forward with the basic eye examinations like distant and near vision checking. Then basic tolerated examinations for identifying any abnormalities in the structures like uh, eyelids, eyelashes, cornea, then conjunctiva and iris. Always do a practice of checking the pupil reflex of the patient's eye. To rule out any inner pathologies, it will help. Also, you must know the basic examinations like digital tonometry, concentration test, as well as uh, about the identification of lenticular opacities or any lenticular changes by iris shadow method. You must know that method. How to do iris shadow. Oh, that process. Okay. And it's the same in the case of NASA, Karna and then the Rokas. A skilled knowledge of otoscopic examination is must to rule out any ear pathologies. The examiner may ask for ear examinations as well as uh, to point out anatomical structures of external ear or something like that. In case of NASA Rokas, you must have a sound knowledge of anterior rhinoscopy, basic torch rate examinations, then obviously you must know the PNS uh, examinations and all. And in the same, it's the same for the Dandarogas or dental pathology is commonly seen Dandarogas like uh, Dental Sharkara uh, or what we call as the Dental Calculus, Chala Danta, etc. must be noted. Also, everyone must have a deep knowledge of Shiro Rokas. Like if migraine may, may be your long case, you must have a deep look on differential diagnosis of the, like Doshi Shiro Rokas or Dhaubedaka or even Netra Rokas like Anidovada and all. Once you diagnosed your case, you must know how to treat the same. Right. For that, you must have a sound knowledge of the treatment protocols or Chikilsa Sutra. You must always do a detailing of the treatment modalities of the conditions you diagnosed. Then it's medicines, dietary regimens, and further addresses must be pointed out in your paper. Then coming uh, the short case session, the examiner usually uh, what expect only the diagnosis and treatment of the given case, a specific case. Don't write more, don't write less. Here the points are enough. That is a proper diagnosis and a proper treatment. Sometimes the examiner may ask more points from you, like certain definitions, classifications, or differential diagnosis of uh, specific uh, diseases or drugs. After that, uh, the short case session, there comes the specimen identification. Usually, examiner put various uh, instruments used in, used in your EI and ENT OPDs or OP units of your college. Something like a tuning fork, otoscope, or thermoscope, various types of props or shalakas, color vision charts, and so on. And write few of its clinical uses. You can also expect drugs as identification specimen. Just identify the drug 
and right few Shalakya Yogas where the drugs are included. And then uh, for the Vaiva Vasi, as you know, a well rooted knowledge of Shalakya Tantra is energetically needed to bypass the questions on the examiners. To understand the subject of Shalakya better, you must understand the basics of the same. Go through the basics and the first chapters of paper 1 and 2 that may help you to some extent to crack these sessions. Study well. I hope this video will help you all. I wish you all a good luck for your examinations. Thank you once again.